Hi, scrappy friends. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to our little mini series of taking the Creative Memories 110 scrapbooking ideas and sketchbook and creating title pages. As I was explaining in the previous video, there are some designs in here. It would be better for me if it were a title page in my album rather than a layout that houses photos. So let me show you what we're gonna work on today. I'll pop it up here on the screen so that we can talk about it. And we are going to page 17 of the book today. So if you're following along in your book, it's page 17. So here's our sketch and the inspiration that they have on page 17. So what I mean by it being a better title page for me than a page housing some photos, this particular layout has a lot of pattern papers. And you can, you can see here, there's nine different strips in the inspiration. They happen to double up. So basically there's eight different patterned papers on this layout. And for me, that's just feels like too much detail. I feel like my photos would get lost. And so that's why I picked this one to become a title page. Let me come on back to my desk and I'll show you what we're gonna use for today. So for today's title page, I'm going to dip into my What A Zoo 2 collection. I was going through this paper pack and I realized I have some beautiful papers that I haven't uh, used yet and they don't really scream zoo. So I thought it would be perfect for this layout. So I have a couple scraps here and I do intend on using the back sides of a lot of these to get those eight different pattern papers. I probably will double up the top and bottom like they did in, this, in the inspiration. Then I have this piece of hot cocoa cardstock that I will be using for the base of all the nine strips, okay? So I'll put this aside for a moment because we do have some cutting to do. Okay. The first, first thing we want to do is we need to cut five one inch strips. And so for that, I'm going to do this Hawaiian print and I'm gonna do two strips of this. Okay, on the back side is a blue wave and I'm gonna come back to that one. I'm going to also use this yellow and I'm gonna take a one inch strip of this yellow. Okay. And then I'll take the orange and the back side is this leafy print, which I'm also gonna take that too. So let me cut that one first because I do want it to run horizontally. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it over and take one inch of the orange side. Okay, then next we need two half inch strips. I'm gonna pull this yellow one back in. I really do like this yellow one. So I'm gonna see how big is it? So that'll be perfect. And then for the other half an inch, I'm gonna come back to this light blue paper. Let me turn it around. And there we go. And then we need one that is three eighths of an inch. So if here is the half an inch, and that would be technically four eighths, we wanna to come to the next big one over, which is right there. We wanna make it actually smaller than a half an inch. Hold this pretty snugly. And there we go. A little strip of that polka dot. I won't be using the brown side because I have a brown base that I'm gonna be using. And then the last cut that we need is the biggest chunk, which is a four and a half inch piece. And for that, I'm gonna bring in this blue and white stripe paper. Okay, and that's all the cutting that we need to do. Let's 
bring back in our brown piece and then we're just going to layer the paper strips up. Let me bring back in that sketch so that you can see it. Okay, there is some actual other cutting that we're going to do. We need to take two of our papers and cut them up into little pieces. And for that, we're gonna make four pieces that are each two and seven eighths, okay? So again, we're just taking off a little sliver. I'm gonna stack them and do them both at the same time. And we want four cuts. Seven eighths is that last big one before we get to the three. There's one. three Oops. and four so all we're doing is removing um, a little piece that way we can see the brown paper coming through so now we're done cutting so let's bring back in our cardstock and with the first one we're going to take it right to the edge and we're going to try and leave a little space from the top of the brown to the first piece of pattern paper and we're just going to evenly space them out across the top one more okay and then just adjust your spacing as needed for those top four Okay, then next we'll come one of our half inch strips. I think I'll put the yellow. Just give it a little bit of some brown showing through. And then next is where we'll, we can either bring in another one of our one inch strips, or you can bring in the, the four pieces that you cut into sections. Now you'll see in the sketch that you can't really even tell that it was cut. You can leave them whole strips also if you'd like. You don't have to cut them. Okay, and then this big strip will come down here at the bottom so that we have the tropical print at the top and the bottom. I love that. So I have a whole piece. Let me bring down my half inch strip would go here. So we're going a one inch strip or cut up one inch strip, a half strip, a, cut, um, a whole strip or a cut up strip of one inch, a half inch, and then another inch or a cut up inch. Again, it's whatever you like. Okay, let's bring in this. And it probably would have been okay if this were a little bit bigger. Now that I'm seeing it together, it looks like it could have been a half an inch, but there we go, and then our biggest piece will go right in here. Let me scoot that up. There we go. It's actually a very cute page design. I like the, pap the pattern paper that I picked out. And so I'm going to um, get this all adhered down. I'm gonna bring in my gray mat to help me get the aligning just right. And I'll just take my time and get it all aligned up nice and straight, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Everything is adhered down, and there's no rhyme or reason to the amount of spacing. I tried maybe to start with an eighth of an inch at the top and bottom, and then in between, it got a little bit less and less. And so, but you don't have to worry too much about that. I don't think anyone's gonna notice. I'm gonna put a nameplate right here with the name, with with our family name and the year of this album, so I don't think anyone's going to pay a lot of attention. So so speaking of the nameplate, I'm going to use this die cut. I think this is for a card or something, but I liked it. It has some really pretty flowers in the corner, so I'm gonna cut this out of the hot cocoa brown to kind of bring out that back, background color, and then I'll back it, I'll try some white or some beige, and then, I'm gonna bring in these jungle print letters that came with the What A Zoo 2 pack, and I'm gonna use this to put our name 
and the year of this album. So I think that'll be um, super cute. So let me get these peeled off, this cut out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and here's my nameplate. I love it. Um, I used the animal print letters for the name and then I put the year in just plain brown numbers because the animal print did not have numbers, it was just alphabet. So that was okay, I love it. And now I'm gonna decorate, okay? So I'm gonna kinda keep this loose for a moment and decide what I'm going to bring in. So I decided that I wanted to kind of use some of the embellishments that came with the What A Zoo 2 collection. Um, this was back in 1995. It was the year that um, the birth of our first child. There was some other things going on in our family life at that time. So it was a little bit uh, crazy. And so that's kind of why I was led to the What A, what a Zoo 2 collection. So I kind of want to bring in some of these elements because there's so, so many cute uh, embellishments and these puffy stickers and I totally forgot I had these. These are so, so stinking cute. So I'm gonna bring in some of those. I also have a ton of the stickers left. I mean, I've used several, but I still have tons. So I'm really looking at these border stickers because I love the one here that says, um, walk on the wild side. I think that's, pretty appropriate for um, a family album. So I'm kind of thinking right here on the orange, like just across the middle of that orange strip like that. Yep, I love that. I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that. And then I'll place this probably midway of the polka dots so I could still see some of the polka dots at the top there. and just put it somewhere like that. Yep, I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that as well. Okay, so let's position this. Okay, that's perfect. So far, I love it. Okay, I don't need any more border strips. So let's see what else. I also brought in a couple of these other embellishments. I thought this one was so cute. Don't feed the animals. And see, here's the how those flowers on that die cut came out. So super beautiful and I love it. Um, so I kind of want to just put this sign like that. So it kind of merges right in there with those flowers. These cute little footsteps. I do have this open spot up here, but I'm not sure I want footprints at the top. So let's see about putting putting them down here at the bottom. Something like that is super cute. So just a little bit of reflection of kind of our wild side that was going on that year. Look at the cute little baby, mama and baby. I don't know if I can fit that in here though. What else do we have? Well, the hearts are cute. There's some hearts over here too. Let's see, I'm kind of thinking this blue heart just to go right there as the dot for the eye. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let me go ahead and take off the dot for the eye. Put that right there. And maybe I should do that for the family as well. And maybe not a puffy sticker because this one's kind of big. Let's see if we have anything over here that would be cute. We have the green, which we can do like right there. That's cute. And we do have a yellow one. I do like that I used some yellow on this. I think I'm gonna move them around just because that yellow is right there. I'll put the green one on that eye and then the yellow one right there. Yeah, I like it. If I have maybe a little monkey that I can hang right here would be would be super cute. Let's see, there is these little puffy, yeah, let's look at this and hang him maybe coming off of our little frame right there. Yep, I love it. Okay, there we go. It's kind of playful and fun. I'm really happy I'm doing this series. In fact, if you're enjoying this little mini series on title pages and walking our way through the 110 sketches, 
please go ahead and take a moment to click that like button. I really appreciate it and thank you for doing that. And here we go. We are finished with this page. I think it's super cute. I actually do like this design. I don't think I would use it for anything other than a title page, but I would love to know, have you ever used this sketch? And what did you think about it? Do you think it's a little bit wild? Or do you think it's a little bit too loud? I think it maybe it depends on the pattern paper that you're using, because I feel like even though I used What is Zoo 2, I kind of picked some of the more uh, mellow type of pattern. So let me know what you think about this sketch. I really would love to know that. So I'm going to continue with this series and make a couple more title pages. But until next time, everybody, take care and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.